How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and we're going to be talking about SNDL Sundial Growers. We know there's a good amount of catalysts that are coming up in regards. They also have their earnings. That's going to be coming on the 17th. But what we want to do is take a look at the technical analysis because I do see some momentum in this stock in the beginning of the week and leading up to that particular point. Also, I'm going to be going over a news article that was showing why there is a little bit of a bump in the industry overall in general, which I believe will be of value to you as well. So let's get into it and not waste any more time. So we're going to be doing the technical analysis for SNDL Sundial Growers. What you see in front of you is a one day, three month chart. And the reason why we're taking a look at this, we want to look and see what's going to be happening if SNDL remains to be bullish. So we can see it ended up closing the day at $1.42. So on Monday, we're definitely looking for SNDL to start testing and getting above $1.55. As you can see, that is an area of resistance all the way back. We could see from February the 19th. If it could pass this particular area, then we'll definitely see a move to the upside, getting into the $1.60s and the $1.70s. So that is something we're going to want to be looking forward to in regards to next week. If you're thinking about getting into a position, as you can see here from the 21 day EMA line, consider $1.35. It got to a low of $1.32 on the Friday. So these are particular areas that we can use in regards to a bounce and then getting moves to the upside, okay? One of the things I want you guys to pay attention to and is where I will be setting my stop loss if I was going to consider getting into this and doing a short term trade, would literally be around this dollar and 13 cents area that you can see which is the 50 day it gets very very interesting if SNDL can literally get past this dollar 70 because if it does it gets the dollar 80 and we know how this thing can move as you can see right here on the chart dollar 80 and will definitely be touching a dollar 90 but do keep in mind this stock is doing a great job staying above one dollar so if we take a look at one dollar here this is definitely an area, it only broke it, and this is literally around the time when we had our correction going on in the market. It only broke it and it was very brief. So just taking that into consideration alone, the fact that SNDL is staying above a dollar is part of the reasons why I still have a bullish stance on it. And you can see this from the chart. And it definitely looks like we have a solid support level here at the dollar 13 and the dollar 14 area. Part of the reasons why this is where you might want to think about having a stop loss or even saying, okay, I already know there's a strong support at dollar 14 and a dollar 13. So I'm going to be considering to probably put my stop here. Again, this is only for short term people here around a dollar five or maybe a dollar eight. It's up to you, right? So that's how I'm particularly looking at it, but I'm definitely want to see um, SNDL getting into that dollar fifty area next week and testing into the dollar sixties, and I'll be cool with that. Anything more than that, then definitely that's just icing on the cake. All right, so we're going to be going over this article: Why Sundial Growers Jumped Eight Point Four Percent Today. So this was actually came out on Thursday at the end of regular trading hours, and I wanted to kind of bring it to your attention as we can see the bullish movements going on in SNDL as well and the fact that it's actually staying on trend and where we like to see it and what we can look forward to for next week so what happened the stocks of many companies in the cannabis sector jumped thursday thanks to a deal announced this morning one popular name sndl rose 8.4 percent on the day even after a retrenchment from february high shares in sndl are up almost 200 percent year to date Today's news has investors hoping there's more to come. So what? The big news today was that tobacco giant British American Tobacco, BAT, is making an investment in Canadian pot grower Organogram Holdings. BAT will take a 19.9% stake in Organogram for an investment equivalent to about $175 million. Now what? 
Sundial Growers is a popular pot stock with investors over the last six months. Average daily trading volume on the stock has rocketed more than 3,000% and the share price hasn't been that far behind, rising 366%. As you guys can see right here, it's actually crazy when you take a look further out on the charts because yeah, that's, that's just crazy. That's crazy. So today's news includes plans for research and development development collaboration between BAT and Organogram. The collaboration will focus on developing the next generation of cannabis products with initial focus on CBD, the company said in a joint statement. This news is good for the sector in general, assuming BAT will use its leverage to help move the entire sector forward. Sundial has shored up its balance sheet with recent capital raises, but the company isn't profitable at this point. Growing interest in the marijuana sector from larger companies has investors thinking that perhaps there could be a deal in the future too. Sundial reports its fourth quarter and full year 2020 results on March 7th, and investors are hoping there's a solid plan for profitability soon. So again, this is something we need to look for and that's going to be coming for this week. Sorry, like next week to be exact because it is the weekend right now. So taking that into consideration, we also got to know that's going to have an effect on the stock price as well. So please be aware of the volatility that's going to be coming leading up to earnings. So since today is the 13th, tomorrow is the 14th. Then Monday is the 15th. So we're looking forward to seeing it on Wednesday in regards to earnings. But again, I'll be keeping you guys updated and so forth. So for my final thoughts in regards to Sundial Growers SNDL, I'm still bullish that there's going to be some more moves to the upside leading into earnings. So anyone who might be doing a short term or a swing trade, there's definitely some opportunities there. So for anyone who's long on SNDL, one thing I want you to remember is always to protect your profits. This is absolutely key. If you are up 100%, 200%, then what you should do is making sure that you're covering your costs and just letting the rest ride for profit just in case there's more volatility and you might have issues with that. If you're really long on SNDL, then all of this would not be a concern to you. Because at the end of the day, we know that SNDL has a lot of cash on hand and seeing what happened with Organogram and actually getting now access and maybe possibly distributing CPD products inside the UK. So getting into the European market is something to look forward to and I can see why it had a ripple effect in the industry overall in general. So there's a lot of things to look forward to, but I just want to make sure that you're always protecting your profits. That is what is key and what I want to communicate with you guys on this channel. And of course, I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So just know when you do invest, you're doing it at your own risk. We'll talk soon.